All right, well today is uh, May the 6th. I already received a Samsung laptop today and this came in as well. So I decided I wanted a Chromebook. I had tried the Pixel Slate. Uh, that was the first Chromebook I actually had. I've purchased Chrome boxes for lots of family members, but I never actually had my own Chromebook. Uh, so I tried out the Slate. I have that video. I liked it. Uh, and then I wanted something a little bigger, a little more powerful. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. So this has been out of stock on Lenovo.com for quite some time. Uh, it's only on Amazon. And this box came in inside another box. And it's all taped up and it has like two of five on here. So I don't, it's supposed to be new. This is the 4K variant. The only thing in here is a little power brick. So it's a lot of packaging. It is a heavy device. So it does come with this little pouch in here. Nothing special here. Put that aside and we'll finally take this plastic off. And we'll hope it is free of the coronavirus. The Yoga Chromebook. This is the 15 inch model. This is the 4K variant. It's supposed to be the 4K variant. It doesn't say anything about 4K on here. And there may be a model number to check. So again, I had to buy it off a of seller off of Amazon, not new. I don't like doing that. I have done it and it could be perfectly fine. You know, I was just a little leery. So here we have a USB-C, a USB-A, and a microphone jack. Over here we have a USB-C, the Kensington lock port, micro SD card, volume rocker, and power button. And then let's just take a look. It does not do the one-handed lift. I don't care about that, but it doesn't do it in case you're wondering. Uh, you're probably wondering why I said I was determined this was the right Chromebook for me. Now, for one, 15 inches, I like. Two, uh, I, I read a ton of reviews, and they all said, so at first I googled most powerful Chromebook, and really, you know, all the reviews will always say the Pixelbook is one of the best, but it is a Y-series processor. So this is a Core i5 8th Gen U-series processor. So it means it has a fan, but it's also more powerful than what's in the Pixelbook or the Slate or any number of things. Now, Slate has a big keyboard. I like that. Uh, for comparison's sake, here is my 2015 MacBook Pro. You can see how substantially larger the Lenovo is than this. As I said today, I got in the Samsung Galaxy Book, not the Chromebook, but the Galaxy Book Ion. It's also 15 inches, but you can see how much smaller it is. Oh, well, that's very noticeable in the keyboard. So you can see how big and glorious that keyboard is. And if you look at the Samsung 15 inch Chromebook, not Chromebook, 15 inch Windows device, Windows 10 device. It has a number pad, so the keys are much smaller. However, the trackpad is much larger. So it is noticeably larger trackpad. But you can see they're about the same width. So just about the same width. Except for, of course, this one has a number pad on it, so these keys are more wider and more spacious. Uh, these are good keys. I like them. Now this is not 4K, and this is supposed to be 4K, assuming they sent me the right one. Also for comparison, here is the G-Type keyboard for the Pixel Slate. So you can see the keyboard itself, the actual keys on the Lenovo are about the same size as the whole keyboard for the Slate. Now there's a substantial weight difference, of course. The Slate combined is going to be almost three pounds, and this is, I think, four and a half pounds. But they're about the same color. And I do like that color a lot. I saw some complaints about the color online, but I like it a lot. So again, this is the keyboard. We got that all set up. I'm going to go ahead and get some things switched, uh, you know, resituated around here. And then we'll boot it up and take a look. All right. So now you can't turn on the Chromebook until you plug it in. So I'm not using the proper cable. I'm using this old uh, one from a phone, but it should still do the job. Or will it? Yeah, we got light. So, this sounds pretty good. 
All right, you see it's extending the screen. That's because I have a uh, device set up to record it, hopefully. Ideally, I might record the screen and show it so you can see it as well. So it says I have a low power charger. That's because I'm using a phone jack, a phone charger as opposed to a, a proper charger. And that's just how convenient, really. All right, first thing to do, of course, is connect it to my Wi-Fi. The screen looks really good, so I'm pretty sure this is the 4K model, but we'll see. So let me get my first chance of typing on it. All right, so here we are checking for updates. Again, I don't think this is... Let me see if I can get this to mirror the screen. So my Chromebook history and all that is saving. That's fun. So again, the only Chromebook I've ever had is the Pixel Slate, which I only had for like a week because uh, Tony bought it. My buddy Tony bought it, the world famous like at Tony, and he let me use it for a little bit and then I had to give it up. However, after I'd finally ordered this thing from Amazon, I was wanting to buy it from Lenovo in case there was any problems. I'd feel more comfortable buying it from Lenovo than from a third party seller on Amazon, just a random the company called Give Me a Hug. However, so far it looks pretty good. This past weekend, the Pixel Slate went up for sale. Uh, the M3 version at $4.99, and it included the Folio keyboard, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I bought that. And then Monday, a uh, Samsung Galaxy Book Ion that I showed previously also went up for sale. So I bought all three, and then all three showed up today. I I'm not going to keep all three. Uh, I tried to cancel this one, but then it was already shipped. But now that's here, I really like it. Uh, the screen is gorgeous. Mirror. All right, that'll work. All right, now that works. Now we're mirroring our display. Oh, and I can change the size up. Uh, yeah, this screen's so big, I'm going to want things to look bigger. So let's bump it up to, we're at 110. That seems probably about right. I'll have to blur that out, of course. Uh, yeah, we're on 68. I think we should be on like 80-something. You can see these keys are backlit. Uh, when these... So if you look at the reviews, most of the reviewers don't not. I mean, I don't think any reviews except Chroma Box had like a short video on the 4K version, but everything else had the non-4K version. Uh, and even the first video uh, that Chroma Box did was from Best Buy. They did not have backlit keys. You can see these so very clearly are backlit keys. Uh, I'm really liking this giant keyboard. Yeah, I'm digging that keyboard a lot. You can see it leaves like a little bit of hand uh, residue. <laughs> hand residue, like a lot of fingerprint oils, so I guess, are getting on it. Uh, I love the color. Uh, this is weird. I never thought about how to prove. So there's a big bar here down here that's very noticeable compared to the Samsung one I was just using, not the Galaxy Chromebook. Uh, the screen does, I mean, it does fold around, but it doesn't, it's not floppy like it was. It is a touch screen, I believe, right? Yeah, so it's a touch screen. So yeah, I texted Tony my uh, video for the Samsung Galaxy Book Ion, and he said he's going to watch it. So, so maybe he's going to watch this one, and then he'll see that he sucks. People like seeing Geekbench, right? We go over here. Low power detected, Google Play Protect is turned on, complete setup by installing apps. I do like the key, uh, the trackpad, it's glass, uh, it has a good click. It's not like a, like the one on the slate is like a good chunk, and I don't like that. This is a really good trackpad. Other than the weight, uh, this is a pretty solid device. I mean, it's a little heavy, four and a half pounds is pretty rough. Let's see here, the CPU obviously is the i5-8250U, so that's an 8th gen, but it's pretty beefcake for a Chromebook, right? Uh, let me go ahead and run a benchmark. Alright, so here it is, uh, 80, 880 for a single core and 2409 for a multi-core. Uh, it says it's Android 7.1.1, but that's obviously because it's been updated, so I don't know what any of this shit means, really. I don't keep up with these scores compared to others, but you may be aware of that, so there it is for you. And uh, I like the trackpad a whole lot. Uh, this is, you know, I watched all these reviews and all these devices. Uh, everyone's talking about the Pixelbook, uh, the original Pixelbook, the Pixelbook Go, uh, and, uh, the Slate, got a lot of hate, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, slate hate and everyone loves that uh, one of the Asus flip or now this thing does not have a fingerprint sensor and I do not like that 
All right, so here we are again. I don't know if it does anything if you click on the desktop. You can move the shelf to the left or right if you want. That's a, <laughs> oh, it just looks so odd over there. Uh, let's move to the right. It's super weird over there. And let's look at the bottom. That's where it belongs. Uh, all right, let's check our version now, I guess. You can have links on here if you want. Uh, I will plan on using that, of course. Uh, about Chrome, so now we're on 72. Let's check for an update. I think there still is an update available, right? Yeah. So we got a couple updates to go through here. So let's ignore that Geekbench score. I'll show it and then we'll do a new one once we get fully up to date. Uh, so I'm waiting this update. You can see there's a giant control button here and a alt button and a small alt and small control. Uh, there's no Windows key, no assistant key. Oh, no Windows key, obviously, but there's sometimes there's a, a, Google, a Google Assistant key, but we'll click on the slate, and then this button, instead of a caps lock, is a search button, which brings up your search here, which is pretty good. Uh, let, me see, let me search, and let's just search for uh, Waffle House, right? Yeah, so it comes up just fine. So I would use that before, like the one on the slate has the Google Assistant key, and you can hit that, and then you can automatically talk to it, but I'm never going to do that. I don't, I'm not a talking to the device kind of guy. Uh, we'll install Duo in here, and I'll make a call probably to Tony, but not on here. You don't need to see Tony, and you don't need to see me. Just worry about the device. But I will tell you how uh, I feel about the quality of it, because I thought Slate was pretty good. I, my normal day-to-day -day device is my work. MacBook Pro 2015 and that thing is a huge piece of shit. I don't think the camera's good. I don't think the microphones are very good. And mine's uh, hot garbage on top of normal hot garbage. And I'm not a Mac fan. Uh, I have a Windows desktop and obviously I just bought that Windows laptop. Uh, but I like the Chromebook experience when I had that with the uh, Slate. Huh. That's pretty neat. So there's a lot of updates coming here, of course, and now you can see I got an update for the stylus tools. Uh, this thing doesn't come with the stylus, but maybe it will accept one. That's interesting. Uh, I don't give a shit about using my voice. The only time I use my voice is like in the vehicle. I have Android Auto and I love that, and I use that just for safety reasons. But when I'm home, I'm on my phone, or if I am... Uh, on a device, I'm never talking to it. It's silly. Alright, so now we're up to date. We're on version 81. So again, today is May the 6th. I think that one might be kind of new. Uh, so here's the device. Let's see if we have any uh, wallpaper. There's only one image on there, of course. That's pretty great. And there's all these generic ones, of course. But nothing super cool and fresh, I guess. I don't mind the blue. There we go. Let's Let's do something that really pop. So that's just a good looking screen. Uh, so for example, all right, so I think we're done. I, you, know, you know, I'm just sharing this. I'm recording this screen through this Aver Media, which is a device I use to record my gameplay on my channel. And it's going to a lapel monitor. So let me unplug this. I'm gonna stop that video. I will unplug this one. Let's get an idea of the speakers. Uh, so let me click on here. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Uh, this is the website version, of course. Let me go change my theme to dark, obviously. And I guess I'll go to my channel just so I know I don't get popped for anything. Alright, so today is... Wednesday, May the 6th. Uh, it's also today, May the 6th. This on Monday. This is the Galaxy Book Ion on Monday. Uh, not super loud, but Galaxy again, this Book is just Flex, my Galaxy Book Flex voice. A and the Galaxy Book Ion. Uh, the Galaxy Book Flex is the one that all the YouTubers have, or, which is blue and flips around. Yeah, the 4K content. We'll see if I can pull that. Now the volume's not the impressive. The quality of the audio is nothing super impressive, right? Uh, so it does show going to 4K. I assume I mean, it looks fucking great. So uh, yeah, I think this is definitely the 4K. I mean, I guess there's a way to check. With my eyeballs, this looks 
uh, gorgeous. So I don't regret this at all. Yeah, you know, uh, I will. Let me have it side by side. Well, let me try some music first. I know I'm all over the place here. I am very much enjoying the typing experience on here. There's a little lock button up here. Uh, so on top we have an escape, uh, arrows. We go back, I guess, and then a refresh button. Uh, this one automatically goes full screen. So that's pretty good. I like that button. This changes desktops, I think, or something like that. But I don't. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, this is the brightness down, brightness up. I think if you do alt in that, it does the keyboard. Yeah, so the keyboard brightness changes. So I think you can see that in the camera. And then we just have mute and then volume up and down and this lock button that will lock the screen. You gotta kind of hold it there, huh? Oh look, so let me see if I can unlock it to enter. Yeah, there you go. So that's not terrible. I would much prefer a fingerprint sensor on the door. He said the fingerprint, if this had a fingerprint sensor, it'd be pretty great. Anyhow, let me try a music. All right, this is uh, Jack Harlow. He is from Wolves of Where I Am. So let's see how it sounds. So I don't think the audio is bad necessarily. I mean, it doesn't sound terrible. I mean, I would never listen to audio like that anyhow. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna listen to the long term. I'm gonna put headphones on. So that'll be, and then there also is a headphone jack here, although I would use Bluetooth. All right, uh, I think we've done what we need to do here. Let me, just for comparison's sake, I will show you how this looks next to my Samsung device. All right, so here I am. I had to restart the updates on the the uh, Samsung device. So this is uh, side by side. It's, it's interesting. You can see how much lower the 15 inch is on. This is a brand new, fresh out the box 2010 released on Monday and this is you know I think a two-year-old device so you can see how much we've condensed screens of course and then this is four and a half pounds and this is I think three pounds or under three pounds actually so I am a traveling businessman so I would be hard-pressed to take this with me the Lenovo at four and a half pounds is going to be pretty heavy and pretty unpleasant this guy is less glad I had to carry my MacBook 2 for work this guy wouldn't be that big a deal I know this one's not a 4K screen, but it is QLED, which is their new hype, the new hotness, right? Uh, it does have a fingerprint sensor right on the device, which uh, I'm a big fan of. Uh, let's just check out some Costa Rica while we're at it, right? Uh, so it's on 4K. Let's go ahead and max you out. And we got you muted. Let me just see how good that screen looks. Let me slide them over here a little bit. And we'll max your brightness out. Boy, that screen pops. So the fans on this one are kicking on. The fans on this one are not on. Again, so this is a 1080p, but it's QLED. And this is 4K. So I'm going to put it on 4K, but I know this one doesn't actually do 4K. So, And then we max the brightness out on this one. Alright, so you're on max brightness. There's a light here too, so it's a little different. So side by side, max brightness. I don't know, man. It's hard to tell. There, so they both look great. I gotta say, it's hard to. This one's brighter. I guess the details are better on this one. But I'm not too dumb to get this stuff lined up at the same time. All right, here we go. So now they're both in 4K. So yeah, brighter here, I think better picture here. This is the Chromebook, this is the... Now, granted, this is a much more expensive device. This is $1299. I got this for $700. Uh, I mean, I got this for $1,000 because I traded it in a uh, iPhone. But either way, fresh out the box, this is $1229. And I think or $1299 maybe. And this, it obviously was way higher when it was released. But I bought this straight from Amazon for $709. And even on Lenovo, they went for $769. Of course, oh, this is the you know full Windows device. And this is a... Uh, Chromebook device, so you have less functionality out of the Chromebook, but uh, I'm not here for that. Uh, I know I like Chromebooks. That's what I want. So if I might have something, I want it to be the best, or at least pretty damn good. All right, I guess that's enough of this. All right, so let's go ahead and stop this one. 
stop this one. Let me get this guy out of here. Again, way, way lighter. Let me get this guy over here. So there we are. Looking pretty good. Uh, I'm a big fan of this, so, you know, use it for a while, make sure everything looks good. Oh, I guess I didn't show a lot of the features as well, so, right? So this is, since it is a tablet, in theory, you would flip it over. Uh, I can't imagine anyone actually uses it that way. I would never use those in the first place, but I guess some guys brought up they could do this. Like, if you're on an airplane and it doesn't take up as much space, so you can do that. I will never do that. So, other than just to show someone that does that, I mean, if I, even if I want to watch a movie on here, I would just watch it like this. I don't need that tent mode. The screen's pretty good. There's a little wobble, but nothing terrible, right? Maybe you saw the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook. That thing was just flopping all over the place. All right, so I guess that's all. This is going on too long. This is the device. Again, it's not, I mean, four and a half pounds sounds heavy when you look at all these other devices, but I mean, it, I wouldn't want to hold it like this for a long time. It's massively different when you hold this guy, but it's not terrible. I mean, I am super strong too, so you gotta take that into consideration. Alright, thanks for checking me out. Feel free to leave me comments and ask me some questions about this bad boy, because I will be putting it through the paces. Oh, yeah, I didn't do the geek feature. Uh, so there you can see, I don't know how well that's going to show on the screen, but there's, there should be 128 gigabytes of RAM, or RAM, that would be nice, 128 gigabytes of storage, and there's 97 gigs available. Uh, and I think we got a lower score this time around. Anyhow, uh, that's the scores, 881 and 1515, so I don't know that really means anything for Chromebooks, though. In my one hour with this, it's pretty fluid and fast, I would say better than the Pixel Slate. Uh, I got the Pixel Slate as well, but I'll probably just end the return. I might not even open it because this thing's pretty great. Alright, uh, thanks for checking me out. Uh, leave me some comments below, give me questions. Uh, I'll give you thoughts how it compares to the Samsung or how it compares to the Slate or a Chromebox, any kind of thing there. So just ask some questions and I'll answer them. Uh, I'm a big fan of Chromebooks and this is, I think, the top tier. The Samsung Galaxy Chromebook was on my list, but then, of course, its battery is atrocious. So I'll keep an eye on this one to see if the battery is that bad or not. And then I'll have a follow-up, hopefully. All right, thanks for checking me out.